Hi Pisces, this is a general love reading for mid-June to the end of June 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to be for all of you but you can check out one of your other signs or you can get a personal reading for more specific information about your situation and also the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. So let's see what is going on with Pisces. Mid-June. All right, we have lessons. Okay, so somebody here, either you or your person, has been undergoing, I feel, difficult lessons, and I feel like these lessons are really beginning to hit home at the moment. So let's get into it and see. Also, if you would like to donate to an animal rescue, you may want to consider the one that I have linked in the description box. They really helped me rescue a couple of kitties that pretty much needed emergency medical care. So that is in the description box, as well as the link to the Etsy shop where you can find this doll that I have on the desk, as well as others and other items that are handmade and just very very beautiful all right so let's see pisces what is going on okay so for you we have the wheel of fortune Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. Okay, so it could be that you have learned a lot of lessons here as well, or or the both of you, or maybe just you, we'll see, but I definitely am feeling with this Wheel of Fortune that there is a shift. There's a shift that is happening, and I do feel like it is related to lessons that that have been learned or that are still being learned. Whatever this is, it is really making you feel very confident, very assertive, more sure of what it is that you want, especially when it comes to a specific love connection here. So let's see, for them we have the Two of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. All right, so this person here, I feel like there's a little bit of, it's coming through as doubt, not knowing really which way to go or if they should take some action. I feel like they're looking at the situation um, from afar almost and really trying to determine whether you know this is a potential still. Is this still in the air or is it not? And that's why we have the High Priestess here because I feel like this person doesn't really know what is what is happening, um, or maybe it's that this person is also keeping to themselves. Rules can be reversed again, just a reminder. All right, let's see what's coming up. For you, we have the Ten of Cups. For them, we have the Page of Swords. And mutually, we have the Moon, all right, which is in your element. And the message for you here is the Ten of Wands. All right, so, You, you're learning some lessons that are pushing you towards love, plain and simple, because I see this Ten of Cups here. So I feel like this Ten of Cups, this fulfillment, this love, it's becoming more and more of a reality um, in your future, the more that you are making shifts based on specific lessons that you are learning. All right, for them, the Page of Swords, yeah, it's like this person is still kind of, you know, they're willing to communicate, wanting to communicate, maybe possibly waiting on you, or maybe they're coming through with um, some communication towards you. And then usually we have the moon. So yeah, you know, I feel like number one, this is you standing in, in your power and really being in your element, possibly again, um... Moving towards your intuition or this connection moving towards the intuition. I mean, the moon is not always positive. I do oftentimes see it as being secretive and maybe there is still something that needs to be resolved here. Some repressed feelings that need to come up, but I'm mostly seeing this as intuition. And actually for the both of you, 
because your person also has the high priestess here. So let's let's clarify and see. So let's clarify the wheel of fortune. All right, we have, ooh, Judgment, the Page of Cups, and the Tower. Okay, wow. So yeah, uh, definitely lessons, definitely divine intervention, definitely some really strong, heavy lessons, actually, and a major, major shift. So this is all about, I mean, with Judgment being here, being able to make decisions, um, making certain discernments when it comes to your emotions and to how you feel, but in a way where it's bringing about a major change, which I don't think is easy uh, with that tower I feel like you know maybe something else needs to come down and be destroyed in order for you to move forward towards this two of cups but whatever it is you are doing it you are doing it so I feel like you have actually it almost feels like you have been to hell and back is, is what I'm hearing and that's what's coming through here um, there was a tower and now it's time to have a rebirth lessons learned and opening up to love again, becoming more assertive in that department. So let's see, let's clarify the Queen of Wands. We have the Hanged Man. So it's all about, yeah, the Hanged Man. So you're able to see things from a different perspective. So there might still be a little bit of holding back um, from this Two of Cups. So you might still be kind of keeping maybe a little bit to yourself, not taking much action yet. But I feel like that's because you have just come out of something very, very challenging, something very, very difficult. So I feel like you're just, you know, taking some time to just really um, contemplate on, not even contemplate, it's more like processing, processing this newfound strength that you're finding yourself in. Let's see the two of cups. Oh, okay. That was definitely way too many. One more time. All right. The Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, so what you're what you want to move towards and what you're feeling more confident about is actually working towards bringing a balance to a particular connection or just to love in general, knowing that you have to be able to give. And I feel like this is all about you being more confident when it comes to what is it that you are able to give and what is it also that you are able to receive? Like, can you receive this and it be just because you are also able to reciprocate or um, working towards, even if it's just your sense of self-worth in order to know what it is that you deserve as well. So it's all of that and I feel like it's these were very very um difficult things that you had to go through. Now again, I don't remember um if I if I already said this, I don't know how many times, but the roles can definitely be reversed here. All right. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the two of wands. Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like this person has been a little bit distant possibly or has tried to just kind of find their own sense of dignity there because I feel I actually feel like they didn't have much clarity. To be honest, I feel like they didn't really have much clarity on the situation, but I feel like right now they want to gain clarity. They want to know what it is that is happening. And like I said, it's like they're still looking at the situation from afar, wondering if there is a potential here, but at the same time, they're healing as well. They're just... I feel like these lessons kind of go both ways. So something in with what you have been through has affected them. It brought up certain energies in them, which actually makes them, like I said, um, maybe contemplate or think about how, 
how they should even move about this. And I feel like it brought up a lot of things concerning themselves, their own self. And this is what it is that they're healing. So this, your lessons actually provoked um, healing in this other person here. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Wands and the Six of Cups. Yeah, so this person definitely is still open to this connection, would still want there to be stability, um, a reconciliation. I feel like this person actually um, has a longing for this connection, thinks about the past, and would want there to be a potential for this to actually work out. Um, I would even say marriage, once marriage here. Or an energy similar to marriage. Let me see the High Priestess. Ooh, the Queen of Cups and the Sun. Okay, the High Priestess together with the Queen of Cups. So I feel like this is a very, a highly intuitive person here. And I feel like whatever it is that this person has been healing, it has led them to, or it's leading them to finding their own, um, their own happiness from within, which is actually something that, that would be very helpful for this connection anyway, or in any connection for that matter. All right, it is something that is needed in order for there to be um, a healthy and balanced connection between two people. And I see that this person is actually in that type of a space, even if they don't really know what is going on with you. They hold a lot of emotions for you. There's a lot of love here. As I said, I feel like there's a lot of longing. And they just, they feel, they could feel intuitively that this is a connection that they would, um, that would actually fulfill them. Right, so let's see the Ten of Cups for your energy in the near future. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Let me get one more. All right, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, so you are moving towards having this um, this love. You, It's something that you really want. You also feel like it can fulfill you. So I feel like the feelings are mutual. I just feel like you had some lessons to learn um, when it comes to whatever the situation is. And I see you just moving closer and closer to that. It's all a matter of finding that balance. And I feel like it's that same balance that I was talking about up here with the um, Six of Pentacles. About being able to give as much as you receive or being able to receive as much as, as, you, as you can give or as much as you, you are giving. Let me see the Page of Swords for them. For the near future. All right, the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Yeah, see, so they, they have that Queen of Cups and they also have this King of Cups. There's a lot of emotions on their end, as, I, as I've been saying. There's a lot of emotions here. Um, I feel like this person is, because of this healing that they've been doing, they're very emotionally stable. They would want to communicate with you, but I, I do see them kind of holding back. I see them still holding on to this connection. Like It's almost as if they're the ones um, in this more balanced state. And it's just a matter of you also getting there in order for your energies to, to align. All right, so let's see the moon. The Six of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Empress. I actually see this connection, whatever it is that has been going on between the two of you, there's a lot of emotions here and there's a lot of intuition here. I feel like the both of you are connecting with both of those things more and more in a way where 
this connection overall is moving towards a calmer state of being, things just being more peaceful, like if there was drama before or if things just felt very conflicted or just very tense. It's moving away from that and moving towards towards the sense of creating, creating a new love together. So I know that that sounds a little cheesy, but I mean, that's what this is. This is all about giving birth to love, basically. And it does come in with this newness to it, all right, with the Ace of Cups being here. So the message for you, though, is the Ten of Wands. So let me actually clarify that. And I feel like that's just saying that, yeah, things have been a struggle. That struggle is coming to an end. Let me just clarify. See. And we got the Eight of Wands. So yes, there is movement happening, all right? This struggle, this heaviness, um, whatever it is, it's reaching the end. And I feel like it's happening actually pretty quickly. So, and if you're the one holding on to a burden or to some kind of a something or other, you know, it's that the message is release that, you know, take some action here. You don't need to be carrying all of that weight on you. You know, whatever is meant to be left in the past, you know, leave it in the past. All right, Pisces. So if this resonated, let's get your final Oracle message. And we have the waning moon. What do you need to release? Okay, and that's interesting because I was just saying that. Somebody is releasing something which is moving things forward. So those are your messages, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching and much love.